Good morning, everybody. Hey guys, so I ran, I uh, actually came across a quick tip that I wanted to share with everybody yesterday. Um, I was presented with uh, a good day's worth of Wireshark traces, and uh, I needed to go through those traces and find specific calls uh, really fast. So I'll kind of show you the process that I used to do that. I was able to do it fairly quickly, uh, which was very helpful. Uh, so let's say these are the files that I got sent. So we're going to go ahead and extract those. Okay. And so these are all the, all the different traces. And if you notice, they're broken down into file sizes of about 50 megs each. Uh, and I've got six files and basically this covers a day's worth of uh, SIP activity for a particular uh, client. So we're going to go ahead and open the first one up. Now one thing that I get confused with, and I, if you guys know of an easier way to do this, please let me know in the comments. Um, but sometimes I have to keep a notepad document to keep track of the next steps that I'm about to do. So we'll put this over here just in preparation. Uh, so I have six files. And so what I'm gonna do is we're gonna take just the last four numbers of each of the file names to keep it simple. So 505-0938. I'm gonna call this merge one. I'm gonna add one, two, three, nine. This will be merge two. And then we'll add one, five, four, five. This will be merge three. And then we'll add 2033. And this will be merge four. And this will be the final file. Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to consolidate all these uh, traces into one particular trace. So let's do that first. So I've opened the first uh, file there, 0505. And we're going to File, merge, I'm going to merge 0938. Okay, so now those are merged, but notice there's no file name here, so it forces me to save it before I can add any more files. Uh, so we're going to save this under my desktop in the uh, YouTube folder. And save that. Uh, we'll call this merge one. And then now we're going to go file merge and for merge two we're going to add one two three nine. So those two were in the first merge then we're adding this one. So it merges all those files together and now we're start again so we're going to save as go back to desktop and youtube folder and we're going to call this merge 2 so now what we have is we have all of these uh, zip files and basically if i go look at that fourth merge file. Let's look at that just for checks and balances. So 250. So I took one, two, three, four, five 50 megabyte files, merged them together. And then obviously they were a little short of 50 megs and we're coming out to about 244. So that's one way that you can validate that all your files are included in this file. Cause you can see, you know, merge one was hundred megs, 150 to 250. Uh, so that's how you can kind of validate that all the data is in there. It's by looking at the file sizes. Uh, so let's go back to our Wireshark. Now there are SIP, uh, so, the, so the goal of this video is I needed to find uh, different phone number combinations because the report that I'm receiving is uh, they're having you know, disconnect issues on a particular phone number uh, or so-and-so called in and had an issue. Um, so what we want to do is look, now you could do SIP contains, 
And then do like a phone number, 972383. And apply that over here with the blue arrow. And yeah, there it goes. It finally sorted through that whole file. So my number's not in there. Uh, so the other thing you can do is you can do telephony and VoIP calls. Now we'll have to blur some of this out. I apologize, guys, because uh, I don't want these phone numbers being public. Um, but what you'll notice here is in the center two columns is the from and the to. Uh, I've just got those grayed out. Um, but you notice there's a ton of phone calls here. So if I take one, and I'm just going to let you guys see the last, you know, the first seven digits, not the last five. But let's just show you how the SIP, the SIP filters work. Um, in my case, it didn't work the way I needed it to. Uh, so let's say if I wanted to find all phone calls for this 585 number. So it'll be... Five eight five four three five, and I'm not giving you the last four. Okay, so if I put in that phone number and then hit apply over here, I can see down here that it's scanning, and then it brings up all these. So what I really wanted to do at this point, I don't really want to look at all the SIP packets um, to see, I don't want to have to go through all of those. I just needed an itemized list of all the phone calls that uh, had this phone number in it. So I was hoping that I could go to telephony and go to VoIP calls at that point and see only calls to that particular number. Um, but as you, uh, as I look through here, there's, I still get the entire list of calls, even though I've got my display filter applied. Now, there's two ways that I could go from here. Um, I could do this in, uh, basically, I could export here. So I can export specified packets. Let's see what that looks like. Um, yes, I said, um... <laughs> Uh, so down here at the bottom we have all packets and displayed. Uh, so I'm going to export those 85 packets. And we'll call that number search. I'm experimenting with this real time so you guys get the uh, benefit of seeing that. And so we're going to save that. And then if I close out this trace and I go to this trace, and then I go to telephony, and I go to VoIP calls. Then, now I see a list of only uh, traces that contain those particular phone numbers. So, I think that was the actual, the easier way than what I was going to show you.